um, a lot of struggles, personal struggles, things I've overcome, things like that. And I feel we, I, like my father, when I, I've still never met him, uh, but his book, you know, when I first connected with him, he basically told me that his life is in this book that he wrote. He wrote it as fiction, but it's all true. He said, everything in the book is true. He's like, I just changed some names and I, I labeled it as fiction. And I got to chapter seven of that book and I couldn't finish, I couldn't keep going. It was crazy. Like by the point I stopped reading his book, he, he, him and his crew or whatever were basically raided by the secret service. And one of his partners was shot dead on a couch during the raid. And I'm like, wow, this is some crazy stuff, you know? And I'm like, I, 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 for whatever reason, I just couldn't bring myself to keep reading it. I still haven't, I have it. I have his book somewhere. I just haven't finished reading it. But oftentimes we mask our truth through fiction. Uh, and so I read his, I read Pat David's book and it's really good, man. I know it's gr very clever, very good ideas. But I recently watched uh, his video, and, and I don't even know, I didn't even look to see when it was originally dated, but where he was basically talking about cryptocurrency. And like, this is kind of my message to Pat. Um, man, I respect the absolute hell out of you, but I would, I would highly suggest you bring on somebody, whether it's, doesn't even have to be me. I would love it. I live in Florida. I'm close enough, brother. I can be out there anytime you want. Uh, but uh, somebody needs to educate you on crypto and beyond just like the articles you read. I don't really think that you, watching this video, um, <clears throat> you know, he references Solana as Solano. And I'm like, okay. And he kept saying that over and over. Um, he mentions Cardano and, and XRP Ripple, but it, he, 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 he was trying to educate about crypto and what's going on in the world and the, and the government and everybody as it relates to these blockchains. But it's obvious he basically read some articles and then basic and, and it seemed like he took a lot of these articles as gospel, not realizing that he's probably either reading paid narratives on crypto websites um, or he, he's just, you know, the whole thing felt not so good. And, and I'm thinking to myself, somebody needs to go on there and really educate him on 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 the differences between these blockchains what these differences are why they matter and the realities of some of these blockchains um even if it, even if it were private i would do it like let's go have lunch or something let's go have some drinks and a cigar man let me school you on crypto like the real deal of it because i i i would love to see pat david and crew basically talk more about blockchain because it is such a big deal and as it relates to how these technologies are going to intermingle with artificial intelligence, government regulatory policies, and all of that, some chains are going to be uh, very prohibitive to a lot of this growth, and then others are going are basically designed and built around uh, facilitating those things. And so, you know, I, I think it's a big deal, and and I, I that's one of the reasons why I did this video just to put that message out there. And um, unfortunately, I'm not streaming on Twitter right now, so I'm not gonna have any as many views uh, at the moment because, uh, or X, sorry, gosh, I still do that. I'm dead naming that platform. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I, I just, I really, I would love to see something like that happen, man. Whether it's somebody educating uh, the team or one or the other in private uh, or, or just having them on as a guest and talking about all of these things. And, and, you know, honest to God, I would love to see Charles Hoskinson on there because I, I, I feel like Charles, while being the founder of, of Cardano and IOHK, co-founder of Ethereum, I feel he still has the ability to speak on other blockchains with uh, probably less bias than me. Okay. Uh, and, and so I would have somebody like Charles on, man, I can connect you if you need to, I can, I can put you guys in contact in two minutes and get you guys on the path to like discovery. Okay. Um, so moving forward from that, I just saw a comment, um, me and crypto face doing a trading show. Uh, I would do something like that. I love crypto face, man. Um, and, and, and you know, he's, he's always been a big supporter of mine. I've always been a big supporter of him. Um, he's like the zany crypto dude, like, you know, he's just like an insane trader that trades seven figures on a pretty much daily basis and, um, just jams out to music and just trades millions of dollars. And like, it's like, you know, like we would trade a thousand bucks. It's kind of nuts. Um, 
but anyway i would i you know maybe i'll talk to him about doing something like that uh but you know that that's kind of where i'm at i i, I want to show i want to go over some stuff before i got, get into the chat and kind of hang out a little bit um because ultimately what what's going on is, oh there's billy bolts um i guess yeah check that out <laughs> i forgot i had that on my first tab um but this this is this is my book if you go to billybolts.com uh you can pre-order the the um you can pre-order it on amazon uh right now it's only 795 and uh it's 249 pages so it's not exceedingly long uh it's i'm telling you guys especially if you're fans of mine you're gonna love the book you're absolutely gonna love the book uh but you can also get it on apple books and then the Am the amazon paperback is coming on may 5th for whatever reason you can't pre-order the paperback you can only pre-order the 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 Kindle version. I don't know why. And then there's a lot of other uh, ebook stores, and this list is going to continue growing over over the coming weeks. There'll probably be like 20 different ebook platforms that are going to carry this book. So uh, it does help me a lot. I would love to turn this into an ongoing series. That's kind of my plan. And I'm debating on do I want to make this kind of an ongoing series that represents kind of my life and like the different things that he goes through uh throughout the story like maybe every um you know maybe there's four books a year every year he grows a year older i don't know I, i'm like throwing around ideas but if nobody cares about the book i'm probably not going to keep going with it um because i kind of got the, the the bulk of what i wanted to achieve out in this first one from there it would just be a lot of fun and how can I continue making the, making things better? So anyway, but it's billybolts.com if you're interested. I, I know I've been getting a lot of messages about wanting autographed copies of the book. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do that uh, because outside of like me buying a bunch of them, signing them and then shipping them off one at a time, uh, I, I'm just trying to come up with ways. Um, so anyway um all right so we're gonna look at price a little bit here now this this is basically bitcoin on a weekly okay and these are the this these are the this is what i worked out in terms of when i expect a peak what i expect the peak to be roughly uh for bitcoin what's happening with uh, just kind of everything that's important to me okay and um I don't know, it looks like we have a weirdo in the chat. Um, people are so stupid. Oh, he's got, Sol is it Solana is the name? <laughs> so I guess we have like a 12 year old Solana dude in the chat. Um, that's kind of funny. All right, so uh, hold on a minute. I'm like restructuring some windows. And yeah, there. I gotta make this a little smaller. Also, let me know in the chat, what do you guys think of me doing shorts again? I, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, thank you. Sorry, did I just sneeze? I, I think I did, I didn't even realize it. Um, thank you, Poe Man. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I should be doing shorts or not, like turning my longer videos. Um, I'm a weirdo, that's right. Well, congratulations, you've been noticed in my chat. Uh, so anyway, I, I'm, I've been debating on doing shorts on some of these longer videos, kind of taking the meat, putting them into like minute, two minute videos. Let me know in the chat if you guys think that'd be a good idea. Uh, but this is my bit Unix account. I've been in a long trade forever. Um, I only did it at three X. So I've just been letting it ride until we get back. Uh, and, and so, and like once, once we do, then I might end up going like five X or even 10 X. Uh, at a certain point now would probably be the time, but I don't want to do it with an unrealized loss. And I figure once we get back to where um, where the price is supposed to be, then I think everything's going to move along just fine. And then I'm probably going to start doing more consistent trade videos. But I, I basically, I got the account, 